Good morning, everybody. This is August 3rd, 2014, and this is my CVS shopping trip for today. Everything you see here would have cost me $33.04 at regular store price. This week, the Dow hand soap is on sale, two for $4. Regular price is $3.29 a piece. I had a dollar off two manufacturer coupons that came from coupons.com. So my out-of-pocket expense was $3 and I got a dollar extra care bus back. The Dow body wash and the Dow six pack of soap is on sale this week, two for $7. Regular price for the six pack of Dow soap is $5.99. Regular price for the body wash is $5.49. I had a $2 off two manufacturer's coupon that came from this Sunday's newspaper. And I paid $5 out of pocket and I got a $2 extra care bug back. Also, on the Ibotta rebate app, there is rebates for the Dow soap and body wash. There is a dollar rebate for the Dow body um, body wash, and there is also a, a dollar rebate for the Dow bar soap. So I spent five dollars out of pocket, and with my two dollars in rebates, it's like I've paid three dollars out of pocket, and um, I'm not quite sure if this Dow soap will qualify my Dow body wash because the bottle is, um, this is the skin therapy and they had a logo of the yogurt and the coconut water. But hopefully this will qualify because I already have a yogurt and a coconut water Dow soap and I don't want to repurchase the same thing. And, you know, as a couponer, you know, you want to save money. You don't want to repurchase the same items over and over again. And, you know, because it defeats the purpose of saving money. And, you know, the Dow soaps, hand soaps, you know, that is a necessity because everybody needs clean hands. So, you know, by me purchasing these, this is not repetitive for me. You know, but if, you know, I don't, I'm... I'm stocked up, you know, on toothpaste and mouthwash and toothbrushes and stuff. So I try to coupon for things that I know that I'm low on and that, you know, that I can see myself really saving. Because you're not really saving anything if you're buying the same stuff week after week over and over again. Okay. So the physician formula this week is you spend $15 and you get a $7 extra care buck back. I have no coupons for these and these are just a regular store price. These are not a sale price so I was able to use my 30% CVS email coupon. So these are $7.49 a piece in my store. I, I paid $14.98. I had a $4 off a of 12 cosmetic purchase from the CVS red box machine. So I got my total down to $10.98. I used a 30% off CVS email coupon, and it took off an additional $3.29. So I should have spent $7.69 and get back a $7 extra care buck. Now, I went into the store today with $17 in extra care bucks. On my last week's um, video, I had $12 in extra care bucks, but as purchasing $50 worth of beauty items, you do receive a $5 extra care buck if you are part of the beauty club at CVS. And so last week, I scanned my CVS card, and there it was, a $5 extra care buck. So that's how I was able to come in this week in the store with $17 in extra care bucks, but I only used $15 of extra care bucks, and I still have an additional $2 left over. So here is my receipt. You see the Dow two for four, and the body wash 
two for seven, and you also see the physician formula, and you see the 30% has came off. So I had a $2 coupon for the um, Dow body wash and the bar soap. I had a dollar off to manufacture coupon, and I had a $5 ECB and a $5 ECB, the $4 off a 12 CVS coupon, and then the 30%, which only took off $1.80. And then there's my other $5 ECB, which is totaled up to $15 in extra care bucks. Okay, so here is the problem. And this is what happened because my calculation shows that it should have been three dollars and twenty nine cents for my thirty percent off, but somehow I only received a dollar eighty because the sale price of all these items are twenty five dollars and ninety eight cents. I have $3 in manufacturer coupons. I have $15 in extra care bucks. Okay, so that would have got my total down to $7.98. Okay, so here is the problem. Whenever this was my actual total after my coupons, because she said, okay, you owe me $7.98, and I'm like, what? I'm like, you know, something did not come off. And that's why I'm saying you really need to pay attention. That's the reason why I always write down my numbers of what things are going to cost so that way I know what to expect at the register. And I knew this was not right. So I asked her if she didn't mind to check to see if all my coupons came off. For some reason, my $4 off 12 did not come off. Now, see, whenever you have a 4 off of anything and then you have a percent off, you always give your four or your dollar off before the percentage. And that's exactly what I did. So there was no problem that shouldn't have been like this, you know. Okay, so then the dollar eighty came off, which was two dollars and eighteen cents. But the way I figured it, if that dollar eighty was replaced with the three twenty nine, then the total coupons and extra care bucks and manufacturer coupons along with the C V S coupons would have totaled up to twenty five dollars and twenty nine cents. The sale price of everything today is $25.98. So my out-of-pocket should have been $0.69 cents plus tax instead of the two eighteen, as you see here, because I paid two eighteen plus tax, and you see that's what I paid, two eighteen plus tax. But for some reason, it only gave me a dollar eighty for my thirty percent, and these were the only things that were not on sale. So I'm not quite sure why it only took off just a dollar eighty and not the three dollars and twenty nine cents. Because after you take off the four off of twelve, that's ten dollars and ninety eight cents, and then thirty percent of that should have been three dollars and twenty nine cents and not my dollar eighty. So, you know, I don't know. But anyway, I ended up with a dollar for the Dow hand soap, two dollars for the body wash and bar soap, that makes three dollars, seven dollars right here for the physician formula that makes 10 and I still have my $2 which makes $12 and then I also want to thank Coupon Loving Sam for mentioning this in her video. I did find one of these pillies. I have um, it says save a dollar on any Almay makeup remover and this is a manufacturer's coupon so I want to thank her for pointing this out and just, you know like she said these can be used at Rite Aid for their eye extravaganza I believe. Um, yeah, I couldn't find the other ones, so, you know, I'm not quite sure if I can use this or not, or if I am going to do the eye extravaganza this week, I might take a break from Rite Aid, but I will check them out. Okay, so thank you for watching my video, and have a good day.